Hey, and welcome back. So today we're going to go ahead and get into how to upload a banner to your Pinterest account and create a Pinterest pin starting from scratch. And Michelle, I'm a Pinterest manager and marketing strategist, and we are starting with our new series, Pinterest 101, so that we can get the basics down pat before we move on to strategy. On the screen share today, I'm going to show you how you go ahead and get that banner uploaded and then how you create a pin and tag products. So without further ado, let's head over to the screen share and we'll get started. Okay, so next we are going to learn how to add a banner and create a pin. So to add your banner, this photo up here, you're going to click the plus button right there and then browse on your computer. We're going to choose this banner and add it. And now you have a banner right there. Super easy. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a pin. So I'm going to show you how to add a pin here. When you are on this initial profile page, you're going to click this button and you can create a pin. There's also another way. So you can click up here and create a pin here. So either way works, whatever your preference is. So we'll go ahead and create the pin here for right now. And then this is your pin builder. So when you're looking at the pin builder, you're going to drag and drop your image here. And this could be an image, an infographic, or a video. They're all created the same way. So we're going to take our pin. We'll go ahead and start with this pin. Then we're going to add, I would have a better title, but we're just doing this for an example. So we're just going to take the same thing that's on um, the text overlay. Then we're going to add a description and we're not going to get into how to create the most amazing descriptions and titles and text overlay. We're just going into the how to's on how to do this. I do have more tips on that. I will link that in the checklist that we have linked below. So just make sure if you haven't, that you click on that, grab the checklist guide that goes with this series of videos and you'll get a lot more information about how to build your Pinterest account into something that will drive traffic. We're just learning how to create the pins, how to create the boards, how to set up your profile, that kind of information. Next, you're going to put in your website link. So www.yourwebsite.com, whatever your website is. And now you have your link and you're gonna choose a board. Now we don't have a board yet, so we can actually create a board here. That's an option. I also want to show you how to create a board over here, but for our purposes right now, we'll go ahead and create a board. And you can keep this board secret if you would like. You don't have to. If you want to keep it secret until you have a couple pins on it, that's totally fine. That's a preference, not something that's absolutely necessary. I know some creators will say you have to, but I wouldn't worry about it. If you'd like to keep it secret, go for it. If you don't want to, that's perfectly okay too. So we're going to create the board and now we have the board for that to pin to because you want to make sure that you're pinning your pins to a specific board. So you're going to have multiple boards on your account that can go deeper on a different video. But just so you know, you'll have multiple boards on your account and you'll pin those pins to those boards. So next you can search for a tag, whatever makes sense as far as what this pin is about, you can search a tag and see if it exists. Now, nobody can see your tags but you, so it's okay to tag whatever you'd like to tag. Let's say we're working on marketing. We have all these different options to tag for marketing, and it's only what's available through Pinterest, so it's not like you can come up with your own. It has to be available through here. So let's say we're doing content marketing. Um, maybe we want to do uh, business management. Um, maybe it's for crafters. So we want to look up crafts. Is there anything in crafting that would make sense for us? Let's say we sell craft supplies. So we're going to click that. So it's whatever really makes sense for your pin. You can start searching it. And if it pops up, you click on it and you can have a tag. So you get up to 10 tags on a pin. And then if this is an actual product, you can click add products and you can search by URL, which is the easiest. If you ask me, I'll search on my store here and we'll grab a product and pretend that we're going to tag it. Okay. We're going to take this digital stickers pack and we're going to grab the URL for it. You're going to come back to Pinterest 
use a link is what I like to do. You don't, you can search your pins, but I find this is the easiest way. Totally up to you, whichever way you decide. I search it. It's going to pull up an image that I can use. Usually it has a couple different ones. We'll use this one and it's going to put the product tag right down there. So people can click on it. It's going to go directly to your website. And then the next thing you can do is publish at a later date or you can publish now. So whichever one you'd like to do, if you'd like to schedule your pins out, which I always recommend for people, then you can say schedule it for tomorrow. Um, we're going to do it for today because I want to have the pin on there just to show it to you, but you can schedule it out for a later date if you choose. So whatever time you want to do, and then you can choose your time right over here. Go ahead and click off that. And then more options. You can show similar products. You can allow people to comment. So if you don't want people to see similar products, you can shut that off or you can leave it on. It's, a, it's your preference. So now we're going to go ahead and publish the pin. And now you can view it and see how it comes up. Now in the description portion, you're gonna to wanna to have at least 500 characters. That's what's allowed there. So try to use up as many as you can, but still make sense. I have a video on descriptions that you can check out on the YouTube channel. So now we're gonna come back over here. We can see all of our pins that we created. There's only one, what board it's on, and then the products we tagged. When you look at your pin now, take a look at it, you can see that this uh, product has been tagged, which is pretty cool. So now we have learned how to do a board or a banner and create a pin. In the next video, we're going to go through building your board. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below, or you can reach out to me at my email, hello at michelle-stevens.com, and we will chat soon. Have a great one.